so that's the encryption. The uh, the Diffie Hellman is another another portion of IPsec to take into consideration. Uh, for IPsec encryption, the same key is used to encrypt and decrypt data. The Diffie Hellman provides a secure way for the two connecting devices to exchange that shared key. So just like we talked about uh, SSL a second ago, the method that they use to to go about exchanging those keys in a secure way, Diffie Hellman is uh, the way that. Um, that IPsec provides that same kind of service. So DH uses a process in which the devices exchange results to a mathematical formula and then use those results to generate a key. Uh, Diffie-Hellman is much more secure than uh, symmetric encryption, but very demanding on the CPU. So it's it's asymmetric encryption, which you know very de very demanding on the CPU. But since you're only using it to exchange the the key. Um, you only have to do it once at the beginning of the session, so it's only demanding on that CPU when the VPN session initially begins. Once you've used Diffie-Hellman to exchange that shared secret, then you just use that, uh, that shared secret on each side um, as for symmetric, um, symmetric encryption both ways. Um, and then authentication and data integrity. This verifies uh, received data is from a known source and has not been altered. So, um, you know, basically, if you if you receive a packet, if a router receives a packet, it needs some way of knowing that uh, it didn't receive this packet from you know a, a hacker or some kind of man in the middle as just like you know data that they just randomly sent. It also needs to know that it hasn't been uh, the original packet was was not intercepted and altered in some way by a hacker or otherwise. So what it does is it uses an algorithm to create a hash of the original data. Um, you know, runs an algorithm, creates that hash, and then the uh, the receiving end runs the same algorithm and confirms the hash on each end match. So, step by step, sending device passes the data through an algorithm to create a hash. That that hash value is appended to the packet of data and sent. The receiving device pulls that hash off of it, off of the uh, the data, the actual data. Um, sends the data through the same algorithm to create a new hash, and then that new hash is compared to the one that was sent by the uh, sending device. If the hashes do not match, the data is discarded. If the hashes do match, then it assumes that it's good data and it processes it. Um, two hashing algorithms that are common are uh, Message Digest 5 or MD5, which is 128-bit encryption, and uh, Secure Hash Algorithm, or, or not rather, uh, and secure hash algorithm one or SHA one, which is 160 bit, and so they they've got a diagram here that's um, really generic. You know, basically you throw the clear text data in there. It provides this hash number result. That hashing algorithm is added to the the front of the packet. So you got your your clear text data. Technically, it won't be uh, clear text; it will be encrypted. But you've got your uh, your hash result at the front. It gets over here. The receiving device cuts that off. You know, takes the the hash result off of the packet runs the clear text data through um, the same algorithm and then it compares these two results. If they match, it knows that the packet is good. If they don't, then it assumes it's bad and discards it. So it's like the same hashing algorithm on both sides? Correct. Yeah, because you'll, um, you'll just set it as either MD5 or SHA1 on, on each end. So it does have to match. Um, and then I, the actual IPsec protocols, this is the piece that, that actually brings everything together. There are currently two options available. Uh, and that when I say the IPsec protocol that brings everything together, this is like the, um, the way that it handles all those other little pieces that we've talked about, which ones it accepts, which ones it doesn't, and the way that it uh, manages them. So the, the two that we've got today are authentication header, or AH. Uh, this is the first IPsec engine developed. It supports only authentication and data integ integrity, not encryption. So AH, no encryption is going to be supported. Because of that, uh, most people have moved on to ESP, or encapsulating security payload, which provides exactly the same functionality as AH, but it adds encryption to there as well. The, uh, the other thing that, that's nice is if some other... Um, some other protocols are developed in the future that these existing engines cannot manage already. Another IPsec uh, protocol engine can be created in the future so that you know any kind of new protocols can be supported. So that's, uh, that's the reason that IPsec is going to be around for a long, long time um, because you're, you're going you're gonna to be able to adapt to whatever the technology needs are um, as you go. And that's the end of uh, VPN connectivity. Again, 
very kind of brief overview of everything, um, but any questions on that chapter?